Okay, we're here to talk about uh, Sig Rattler LT specifically. What optic I'm going to be mounting on here. All right, I had a little issue with this, uh, the Rattler LT. So what I did, this is going to be my second attempt to mount this uh, optic. Uh, the issue I had is uh, it was not holding zero. Uh, so basically I zeroed the optic at what I thought was zeroed and uh, I'd shoot a few rounds off and the first two would land right where you'd expect them to and by the third, fourth, or fifth round, uh, the round will start walking. Uh, this could be due to several reasons. Uh, the biggest, uh, most probable reason is either gonna be bad ammunition out of a short barrel, which is a possibility with this platform because the barrel is only 6.75 uh, inches. Uh, the second one, the second most likely one is going to be, uh, the optic is not properly mounted. Okay. This is more than likely what the possibility is. And I'm going to explain why. So the screws that I had mounted on there, uh, these are screws. Uh, I basically used them off of my old setup. Uh, they are about 12.5 millimeters long. I got these other set of screws. Uh, they came with uh, the sealer kit with for the Trigicon RMR. For those of you that don't know what a sealer kit, a sealer kit is basically this. This should be standard uh, equipment with every RMR. However, it doesn't. It's sold separately. People don't realize this. Okay, people when they see this uh, little uh, uh, a rubber o-ring on the bottom not o-ring a uh, rubber gasket on the bottom of the rmr they believe that this right here makes it where the rmr is water water resistant an rmr is not properly water resistant unless you use a sealer plate uh, these are sold separately with uh separate of the actual rmr my opinion that's complete and utter bullshit if you pay close to 500 dollars for for some sort of an optic and uh, the optic advertises that it's uh, it's water resistant to such and such uh, uh, you know meters or feet or however you want to call it. Uh, it should be like that straight out of the box. However, it's not. Okay. So uh, the new screws are only nine millimeters. So I think what was happening was the longer screws were too long. And when I went to torque them down, they give, they were giving me the proper torque setting. However, uh, the optic was still not tight onto the mount and it was enough for it just to move just enough to where, uh, you know, the, the optic was moving around. Uh, so that's a, li a likely plausible scenario. Uh, and that's likely our culprit. Uh, because RMRs are extremely, extremely uh, reliable. Uh, they, I've never had a problem. The only problems I've ever had with these were due to mounting problems. I had one on a, a 19 M West one time. And again, same issue. I had longer screws than was what we required. And every time I go to a zero, the zero, the gun, it was, uh, the rounds were just being thrown all over the place. Uh, the reason why I don't think, uh, there's another the barrels the culprit for the inaccuracy is because when i shoot the gun with the irons uh not iron with these uh, uh you know magpul uh, polymer sights uh the bolts go where they're supposed to uh pure and simple so more than likely the culprit is either a bad optic which is not a likely scenario or it's going to be a bad uh the screws are improperly mounted are causing a situation where the gun is in those optics improperly mounted to the mount. Um, one other option could be that the mount is a crappy mount. However, I doubt that. I, it's a very unplausible scenario. Um, although it is, it is probable. It's just unplausible because it, I mean it's it's a brand new mount. It comes from a quality company. So what we're gonna do? I'm gonna mount it with the shorter screws. Uh, it takes a T8. So if you have a let me make sure it's T T8 or T10. T10. Okay. So the screws take a T10. Okay. So let's go ahead and mount these. So because there's only two screws, 
Uh, there's no particular order that you have to torque these down in. So first step, they're going to be hand tight. Okay. Uh, we're going to come in with our torque wrench. We're going to go 15 inch pounds. You have to be careful when you're torquing these small screws uh, because uh, they don't, they can't take a lot of torque. They can't take a lot of pressure. Okay, 15 inch pounds, that's good. You also have to remember they have uh, some, uh, some sort of a Loctite on them. Uh, so the likelihood of them coming loose is very slim to none. So here, let me give you a little contrast of what this looks like. My original idea was to mount this well forward, uh, and the reason why is to kind of imitate what uh, what I see when I'm shooting with my, with my pistol. However, um, it after testing it out on the range, I found that this is the most optimal position to be able to quickly pick up the sight uh, based on where I placed the uh, the brace into my uh, into my shoulder socket. Uh, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and, uh, shoot this gun today. I'll, uh, report my findings back. I'll try to get some video up there and I'll show you some video I, I took of, uh, the before and after. So before I shot two to the chest and one in the head, the two in the chest landed right where I zeroed the gun. Uh, the one in the head landed, uh, five inches, uh, five inches low. Uh, even if... I just don't see a scenario where I pulled it because I was having consistent issues uh, zeroing the gun. Okay, we're going to be shooting uh, 300 blackout out of a uh, Sig Rattler LT. Uh, target is we're going to be aiming two for the chest and one for the head. And uh, the ammunition we're going to be using is the copper monolithic rounds uh, from uh, Sig Sauer.